Thank you, Mr. Miller. You heard Chief Logan talk about it. We have to do something for our veterans to make sure that they are restored in body, mind, and spirit. Well, Tyrone Chapman has been doing that for a long time. He's with the Michigan Veterans Foundation, Detroit Veterans Center, Executive Director and CEO. And he has been fighting the good fight to make sure our homeless veterans have a sense of place and home and feel welcome. Please give it up for Tyrone Chapman. Thank you all so very much this afternoon. I'm delighted to be here among our nation's patriots. It gave me a warm feeling hearing about your Uncle Jack. I, and please don't take this disrespectfully, but he's the way he spoke, he's, he was out in the field cooking some food one day, and my staff said, hey, Mr. Chapman, there's some guy out there cooking food for homeless people. I go, well, who is it? I go out and meet him, and I, he says, hey, I'm Jack Seaman. I'm here, and we can see peace in our lifetime if we all sit down and break bread together. And I'm reminded of that. Peace in our lifetime. Listen, I am a Vietnam veteran. Excuse me, Pastor, but I'm damn proud of it. That's right. Let me give it up. And I'll tell you why I say that today. Because obviously we came home to less than a hero's welcome. But I assure you of this. I never thought one day that I would receive the welcome, the negative welcome that we did while I was in combat theater. And as I say to folk, soldiers are soldiers. We are not politicians. And regardless of how you feel about politics or who's in power, you must remember that when our leaders go on TV or in the news media and say, we're gonna get the bad guys. I know what that means. That means someone's son, someone's daughter, someone's aunt, someone's uncle is going to go away and do whatever it is that they are required to do. And it seems to me, if we are fortunate enough to make it home, we are owed a debt of gratitude. Amen. I'm reminded of a quote by the late Calvin Coolidge that says the nation which forgets its defenders may one day itself be forgotten. I have been in combat, I have led men in combat, and let me tell you something, it takes a brave individual to head towards harm, then away from it. And as I look at you ladies before me, I want to pay tribute to you too. I say that because women are now serving in a role that they had not served in previously. They are leading combat units, they're flying sorties, they're doing all the things that their male counterparts are doing. But the other side to that is that, unfortunately, they are coming home with some of the same kinds of issues that their male counterparts are coming home with. The post-traumatic stress disorder, yeah. traumatic brain injury, loss of limbs, confined to wheelchairs, canes, walkers. I see those things. I see the effects of the war. We are a program for veterans, led by veterans. And so they can tell us everything that we need to know so that we can help them regain their stability and make the transition from being a warrior back to being a civilian all over again. And so for me, it's not a job. It's an adventure because it's been a part of my healing. We talk about post-traumatic stress disorder. I am 30% service connected with PTSD. PTSD is not necessarily a bad thing. It's a clinical issue that has to be dealt with. And for most of us who came home from Vietnam being called some of the names that we were called, you'd have PTSD as well. But I say this on behalf of all of my brother veterans, those brave men and women who I served and fought with in the steamy jungles of Vietnam, many of whom are not here today. They served with pride and distinction as any of their predecessors have served. And so I say to you all who are here today, if you hail us as heroes while we are in uniform, you must hail us as heroes long after we've taken those uniforms off. This has been a wonderful event for me today, certainly. That parade was absolutely outstanding, and waving to all the passerbys gave me a really, really warm feeling. So I say to all my brother Vietnam veterans, welcome home to every man and woman who is in uniform serving in whatever capacity you serve. I say to each of you, God bless you. 
God bless your families, and may God continue to bless the United States of America, the land of the free, because of the brave. Thank you all so very much.